Hi, this is Ellis, and I wanted to wish everybody a happy Sunday. So I just wanted to do a quick vlog today, um, because my um, daily posts are mostly going to be on every days except for Sundays, because uh, the Sundays in Lent are exactly that, they're in Lent, they're not of Lent. Um, so technically, you know, the fast ends on Sundays, or it's a little bit suspended, or depending on your interpretation, sometimes they're going to be less so. And I just wanted to highlight this pothos that I've had for probably about two years now. Um, it's only been about a year when I've actually been caring about it, and aside from that, it's, you know, it's grown a lot. Um, you know, they're notorious for being difficult to kill, but now it's gotten to the point where I'm really trying to sort of do a little bit of a green wall, so... I've gotten all these long vines and have staked them um, onto the wall and it's grown quite a bit since the last time that I did this so I need to do a bit more attention so that way I can get it to uh, grow up even higher now. The significance of this plant though, and the reason why I wanted to highlight it, um, I might not do these vlogs every Sunday, but this one in particular is because it's a gift uh, from my grandma. Um, you know, my abuelita, she always um, propagates these pothos plants all the time in her house like you'll find them in the restroom or in the kitchen in the living room uh, she'll just have these little bottles where she's been uh, water propagating them and even a while ago when uh, she was in her office um, when she was working before she retired um, she had you know a pothos growing just all along the ceiling and it was trained to where it would just it just keep on climbing across it was basically it made an entire circle around the entire office um on the ceiling and it was from a little pot that was on her desk and the reason why i wanted to highlight this today though um is because of the reading so today in the gospel we heard about um, jesus going into the desert to be tempted um, and but we also find that jesus was fasting and praying in the wilderness and on top of that, Jesus was obviously meditating on the Word of God because that's what we find. The devil tempts Jesus and Jesus always responds with an interpretation uh, from a text in the Bible. And um, even when the devil tries to um, convince Jesus otherwise with also some scripture, um, Jesus goes back with some more. So this is uh, something that, I would, uh, that made me thinking that my grandmother is um, a lot like this um because what she has done is she ha often uh prays she prays constantly um she's always saying prayers um she fasts on a regular basis um in a very spiritual way it's part of her spirituality it's part of her um her uh, walk of faith and um, she also studies the Bible. Like she's always reading the Bible. She's always teaching it to people. She's always um, referencing it in every moment. And so this pothos here, which has basically been the first plant that I've had since my growth of my large collection here. Um, you know, this whole thing started um, with me tending to this one plant that she gave me a long time ago. And it used to just be um, just a few little leaves inside of this pot with the moss pole. And now it's grown tremendously. And I've actually cut off quite a bit of it too. And I um, propagated it and gave it to some, some other people. So, um, you know, it's been growing a lot. And I just wanted to um, to thank my abuelita for giving me this plant and for um, just always praying and fasting and being ex an example of what it means to be um, to walk the way of love and to walk um, in the light of God. Um, no matter how difficult the times are, it's just always nice to know that there's always um, growth from our spirituality.